And demonstrators are outraged, calling the shooting a hate crime. News 3's Margot Spann has more on why students here in Beloit are demanding action. Sarah, one of the students tells me that she was moved to take action after listening to the 911 calls and listening to more about the case. He was too young to die. He didn't deserve to die. It's the end of a grading term for Beloit Memorial High School students, but rather than celebrating a half day of classes, they're rallying in support of Trayvon Martin. I'm 17 years old, my, 17 years old myself. I mean, that shouldn't happen. For these teens, the possibly racially charged shooting incident in Florida is hitting a nerve. I honestly I almost feel scared just to come outside, go to the store, knowing that I can not come back. It makes me actually scared for the black males of the world, just how they're seen, they look at as this big, scary person, and it's not even that way all the time. Just how they have all these stereotypes on them, it's really hard for them to succeed in the world just with all this surrounding them, and this just shows that even more. Teacher Paris Eccles says about 150 students dressed in black and made signs for the rally. We have so many different groups of people here, African Americans, Latinos, whites, all showing their support to say that we know right from right, wrong is wrong, and something must be done for Trayvon and his family as well. Organizers hope the rally adds to the national momentum and encourages racial equality. Hopefully his parents will see this, hope, uh, tell them that we care about them here in Wisconsin. It, obviously, if it can happen down in Florida, it can happen to anybody else. And just, it's like, it's kind of a warning, like racism is still happening right now and that it won't happen until somebody makes a big step to changing it. The students tell me this isn't it for them. They're hoping that the suspect in this case, George Zimmerman, goes to trial. And if he does, they'll continue to wear black to school in honor of Trayvon. All right, thank you so much, Margo.